What is going on all the YouTubers? This is CodeAgent10 and welcome to episode 4 of Coding with Code. First of all, I just want to say um, I'm really sorry about last week's episode uh, with the fact that I couldn't paste in all the uh, all the coding into the description because YouTube wouldn't let me because it kept on telling me that um, there was like illegal characters and I, I, I don't know how that worked, but yeah, YouTube really screwed up and it wouldn't let me do it. So again, I'm really sorry about last week's uh, episode. But yeah, anyway, this week I'm going to be showing you how to create a very simple password. This password does not open up files. I just want to point that out. It doesn't really open up like these to particular kind of files. It will only open up little programs like Incredimail uh, or Notepad or those kind of files anyway. But anyway to the tutorial. First of all, what you want to do is you want to get your notepad ready here. You want to open it up. Um, I'm not going to waste your time typing it all in. As always, I'm just going to paste it in. So yeah, there we go. Um, first of all, I'm just going to quickly show you how to edit this. Uh, your password will be going here, as you can see. I've got it as 12345 because it is by far the best password in the world and it will never be hacked. I'm joking, never put your password as 12345, it is the worst password in the world. But anyway, oof, that's bringing back flashbacks. Um, so anyway, back to the tutorial. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to select a particular program that you want the password to open up. So I've got it as Incredimail uh, right here. And then what you want to do after that is you want to put .exe. So yeah, and now I'm just going to quickly show you how to save it. So we go to is uh, file save as. You want to select a name. And then you want to put it as dot bat dot bat. It must always be in a bat file. You don't have to put it in all files though. I just do it because um, well, it doesn't work for me unless I put it in all files. I don't know why, but yeah. Uh, and then you want to select a particular file that you want to save it in. So I'm just going to put it um, onto my desktop. It is on my desktop. Uh, then you want to just hit save. And then you want to shrink this or close it. It doesn't really matter what. And there we go. There's your little password effect thing. And then you want to open it up and type in your password. Welcome. And it should open up in credit mail. There we go. It's opening up. So yeah, that's basically it really. It's very simple. It's mainly just for a bit of fun. It's not the securest thing in the world because you know Incredible is right there and I could just open it up through there. But you know, it is mainly just for a bit of fun. So yeah, if you found this tutorial helpful, then please leave a like down below. Um and uh yeah, if you're if you're interested in mini programs and programming and whatnot and tutorials on how to program things, then click that subscribe button because I can guarantee you I'll be making more videos like this. I suggest you check out a few of my other videos if you're new to my channel as well, uh episode one, two and three. Because uh in those episodes I show you how to make the matrix effect, how to change the properties of a bat file, and how to create uh, a mini timer effect. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks a lot, and uh, see you later, YouTubers.